Hey, how you doing? I'm Andrew. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of zinc nitrate. I have a nice little tip to help us out. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the elements in the compound. So we've got zinc, nitrogen, and oxygen. Then we're going to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript there, just put in a one. So we have one zinc. We have one nitrogen, but careful. It's part of the nitrate polyatomic anion, and we really have two of those anions. So we have actually two nitrogens. In other words, just simply take the inner subscript, multiply it by the outer to find the total. Then for oxygen, just do that multiplication so you get six oxygens. Then you're simply going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each. These masses are always found on the periodic table. So zinc's mass is going to be 65.38, nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is 16. So let's write them down. 65.38 for zinc, nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is going to be 16. Then we're going to find the total mass of the element in the compound by simply multiplying this row on across. So that's 65.38 units of mass for zinc. Nitrogen is going to be 28.02. Oxygen then is going to be 96, 96. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add up all the total masses of all the individual elements. So this is going to work out to be 189.40. And the units there are going to be in terms of AMU atomic mass units. That's because we're finding the molecular mass. That's all there is to it. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Maybe even recommend our channel to your classmates. If this helped you out, that'd be an awesome way to help us out. And we'd love to help you out with more. Okay. We've got thousands of videos out there, not only in chemistry, but physics and mathematics too. I'll see you soon.